Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you. Oh, it's a great day to be a Falcon, isn't it, boys and girls? Happy Monday. Today is Monday, March 6th, 2023. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning and sunshine. Let's get outside and get some vitamin D from the sun today. Let's have a great day of learning as well. I just want to show you how awesome you guys are. Look how many soar tickets. Actually, I have a few more the ones that I pulled out. These are the ones that I did not pull out. That's how many soar tickets from last week. You guys are really rocking it and soaring. I appreciate you working hard, doing your best. Remember, it's about being safe, owning your actions, accepting others, and being respectful. So I appreciate, boys and girls, that you're doing that. That's what Falcons are all about. So thank you for soaring last week. Let's have a great week of soaring as well. Hey, you know what? It's March in our school. It's music in our schools month for March. So just a reminder, I know Mrs. Rowland has the challenge each week. I'm curious to know what bands she'll have this week for us to vote on um, like we did last week. And then she'll have the results for us. And we'll keep doing kind of the battle of the bands for music in our schools here in March. Also this month, as you know, it is reading. That's right, the reading challenge is on. I hope you're thinking about reading every day. We should do that. Um, the more we read, the better we get at our reading. Just like the more we practice like basketball, the better we get at basketball. The more we read, the better we get at reading. So keep reading every day. Remember the reading challenge is, if you can read 480 minutes, that's, uh, uh, what is that? 460 minutes, I guess it's eight hours of reading. Um, please uh, think about doing that every day, just write in the log. And then when you can reach that goal of eight hours in the month of March, you can sign up and receive a free uh, voucher to go to High Trek Adventures. They got some really cool things to do. Also, our reading challenge for the month of March is science genre. Ooh, I love that. So do you like science things? Well, if you don't, or you haven't tried them out, I want you to think about that. What you do is you fill out one of these um, from Mrs. McBride from the library. Um, if you read something that has to do with science genre, things like wild animals or space or weather or physical science or earth science or life science or marine, I love marine biology, marine science, insects, reptiles, birds, and other things like that. So those are the kinds of things that are science genre books. Check them out from the library. And again, this month, our genre is science. Hey, on our lunch menu today, we've got classic American cheeseburger with French fries or a sun butter and grape jelly sandwich. Please remember to take a fruit or vegetable with every school meal. Hey, I've got our soar tickets here. Before I do that, I just want to mention the library will be uh, again, closed today and this week a lot because we have some students, our multilingual learner students um, are doing a, a language test that they do each year. So we wanna wish them good luck. We wanna be real quiet in our hallways, especially around the library area because that's where they'll be in there doing that. So uh, good luck to our second and third graders who will be working today and tomorrow. Our first, fourth and fifth graders worked really hard um, last week on their uh, three portions of their tests. Thanks for doing that. So second, third, and even kindergartners are gonna start doing theirs as well. So let's remember, let's keep it quiet in the hallways, especially around the library area. Hey, here's our students who uh, I pulled out from that big stack of SOAR tickets. These students, I pulled out your name. If you hear your name, come on down, pick up a brag tag or a bracelet. Again, thanks for soaring last week, everybody. First of all, from Mrs. Adams' class, we have Gail. Also from Mrs. Adams' class, excuse me, we have Olivia R. Also, let's see, from Mrs. BP's class, we have Danner. From Ms. Shepard's class, we have Yamena. Also from Ms. Shepard's class, we have Aiden. From Mrs. Veely's class, we have Isaiah. Also from Mrs. Veely's class, we have, oh, excuse me, sorry. Hang on, I'll get there, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Veely's class, we have Belle, sorry. Wow, about 50, 50 geese, pretty cool. Heading back north, guess it must be heading towards summer, huh? Hey, Mrs. Fungoni's class, we have Kaylee. Also from Mrs. Fungoni's class, we have Liam. From Ms. Shinstrom's class, we have Melody. Also from Ms. Shinstrom's class, we have Adeline. From Ms. Young's class, we have Logan. Also from Ms. Young's class, we have Arturo. From Mrs. Gillespie's class, we have Brianna. 
Also from Mrs. Gillespie's class, we have Harper. From Mrs. Burroughs' class, we have Avery. Also from Mrs. Burroughs' class, we have Luke. From Miss Haynes' class, we have Nora. Also from Miss Haynes' class, we have, excuse me, Sophia. From Mrs. Tenney's class, we have Brayden. Also from Mrs. Tenney's class, we have Gerardo. From Mrs. Fuller's class, we have Deriza. Also from Mrs. Fuller's class, we have Liam. Let's see, from Miss Harper's class, we have Lily. Also from Miss Harper's class, we have Brooklyn. From Mrs. Carlson's class, we have Gunner. Also from Miss Carlson's class, we have, these are sticking together a lot today. We have Cindy. From Miss Slater's class, we have Easton. Also from Miss Slater's class, we have McGill. From Miss Sager's class, we have Diamond. And also from Miss Sager's class, we have Holland. So congratulations to all those students who were soaring last week and happened to get their uh, name called out and picked out and drawn out. All right, boys and girls, let's soar today. Hey, as you start off your day, you can see I'm out here at recess. Some reminders about recess, especially the field area. What I want you to do is if you're gonna play tag, I want you to play tag off to the right side, the side over here, that's where tag should be. We don't wanna play tag where soccer is going on on the other side. Um, soccer should be on the left tag on the right because what I'm noticing is there's a lot of people playing tag that are running through games and it does two things one it can get you injured by the ball hitting you um, number two it's interfering with them playing soccer so um, so you don't get hit by a ball tag stay to the left soccer to the excuse me soccer to the left tag to the right I'll get it figured out um, your recess teachers will help you with that as well and just remember when we're out playing there we want to be safe right falcons are safe so please make sure that you are being safe when you're outside playing let's not be aggressive let's not push and shove um, to try and get equipment all right keep that in mind let's be respectful let's be safe let's have a great day soaring falcons and always remember your Frylands family cares about you teachers please lead your students in the pledge of allegiance we'll see you soon i'm going to collect some sun here